These attractive wooden spoons can be easily made from plywood and a variety of abrading techniques. The techniques used can be simple hand abrading to shape and finish or using a variety of abrading tools or machines. The plywood used is 18mm thick shuttering plywood and actually it's good to explore the material and some shaping techniques on a small spoon first. I think plywood is very much underrated as a material and I also think a little outside the box woodworking can lead to the greatest satisfaction when making things in wood. So that's a question of exploring what the tools and the materials can do. So here I'm going to show you how to quickly make a small plywood spoon first and then go on to make the larger one. This project came about while I had a young Finnish student working with me on an internship and it seemed a nice project for her in between other work. We used the bandsaw to first cut a section of the plywood and there was no need to measure but use guesswork to get the size and proportions of the spoon right. We're using the linisher or bench mounted belt sander to shape the main form of the spoon. Now because it's so small you have to be very careful your fingers don't get too near the abrasive belt. You'll soon know about it if you do. So we used a steadying stick. It's also important when using abrading machines that they link up to a dust extraction unit. Now this is fairly intuitive woodworking. You just observe the important rule of feeding the wood uh, with the direction of the belt and not against it. Otherwise it will suddenly snatch. Now we decided it would be quicker to reduce the handle of the spoon using the bandsaw. And here you can see a push stick is used for safety. You know the bandsaw is a great machine for creative woodworking. I've even used it for accurate joint cutting. So now back to the linisher using both the flat and the drum for shaping the spoon. This of course is not the final finish which is done by hand with a finer grit paper. The best abrasive papers are aluminium oxide. Gone are the days of using sandpaper although the generic term used is sanding. Okay so some final shaping to get the spoon symmetrical and also putting a slight curve on the handle. So that's back on the bandsaw. Notice how I use a backing piece for the bandsaw to support the wood. I used a hot melt glue gun to mount the tiny spoon on a lug that could be mounted in the vise so that the final sanding could be done. Well, I couldn't think of another way to do the sanding. I used narrow strips of abrasive paper in a bath towel fashion. The tricky task is in removing the spoon. If you're very careful you can use a hot air gun. <laughs> I use my hand just to check the heat. The final finishing is done by hand, working through the grades of abrasive paper. I use very fine emery cloth to finish with and then I dip the spoon in some polyurethane varnish to avoid using a brush that has to be cleaned. Several coats build up a nice protective finish. Uh, this was very much an impromptu design but I hope you agree the plywood um, has a lovely contour effect and really looks a lot more expensive than the actual material cost in the first place. Mm -hmm.